Good morning. My name is Ben Taylor, Head Prefect of Campbell College. By the time Armistice was agreed in 1918, Campbell had produced about 1,200 pupils of military age, of whom half served in the armed forces. During the First World War, there were 147 decorations won by pupils of the school, including a Victoria Cross for bravery. However, this came at a heavy price. 126 former pupils and one member of staff sadly laid down their lives for the cause. An example of the devastating impact being that of the first 15 rugby team of 1914, eight lost their lives in the First World War. So today, as we pay tribute to not only old Campbellians, but all who lost their lives in the First World War, we remember our school motto, Neb Livescaris, do not forget. In tribute to those old Campbellians fell in World War I, our message is, respect, respect the, the fallen, fallen, appreciate, appreciate the, living. the living, and make the future. Major Scott Dunlop with 38 Irish Brigade Headquarters in Thiefel Barracks in Lisbon. Okay. Scott, um, I just listened to their um, pass on a phone call to one of your old Campbellians in South Africa, I believe. Um, what is the uh, aim of the initiative today? The initiative today is called the Campbell College Ring of Peace. It's an initiative driven by the Old Campbellian Society based in Belfast, where 126 current Old Campbellians, of which I'm one, are getting together to remember 126 of the fallen Old Campbellians who died within the First World War. And the Ring of Peace aims to pass a message of peace around the world through 104 countries, starting with the head boy at Campbell College this morning and finishing tonight at a Spirit of Peace dinner in a hotel in Belfast. Now, the, the Ring of Peace will pass on this message through 126 Old Campbellians who each represent one of those fallen. Whose idea was this exactly? The idea came about from the current Old Campbellian staff, uh, some of whom are ex-military, and the head boy current within the school, uh, as a mark of commemoration to bring to, to life the remembrance of the fallen before November this year. And what does it mean to you personally to be involved in this project? It's a great pleasure for me personally to be involved. As I saw the 126 photographs in the main hall within Campbell College as a student there and a pupil, and for me currently serving now in the military, it's a great way to give back something to the fallen and represent by my service in the military today. I'm Harry Cal, I'm a member of Campbell College CCF, I'm in the upper sixth. Okay. Harry, um, the initiative as described by Mr. Kuhn, what does it mean to you personally to, to see the names and the photographs of all the, uh, all the fallen that have, that have gone to this school? Well, personally to me, it's something that's always captivated me about Campbell College. From the first time I ever laid eyes upon this, all you, it is a very distinctive feature. It's unique to Campbell that we have such rich links to the military. And I think you look at the pictures and you look at the bravery and you look at what they're awarded, the fact we have VCs and the fact that so many students died fighting in the Great Wars, that you are very aware of what's happened and very aware of the sacrifice given by these pupils. Well, Will Keown, the Vice Principal at Campbell College. Okay. Mr Keown, um, can you tell me who, who, was, who really got the ball going with regard to the initiative? The initiative, the idea came from Robin Dunseith, who's one of our old boys. And as a college, we've got a lot of connections with the military and a lot of historic connections, a lot of uh, old Campbellians who gave their lives in the wars you see from the, the pictures around you in the hall. And the idea is that we would have 126 old Campbellians phoning one another in a chain going right around the world, each of them commemorating one of the old Campbellians who lost their lives in the First World War. Well, I think to myself personally, and I hope it's the same as it is for all of the boys, is to have a very like, direct connection with, with, with an event which to many can seem very far off. A hundred years ago, to boys of between 11 and 18, can feel a very long time ago. And I think that in a college like this, where we continue to have a lot of boys engaged with the Combined Cadet Force, and we have a lot of military connections, it's a, a connection which is still very much real and they see every time they come into this beautiful hall, they see around them the pictures of young men, not much older than themselves, and they're reminded of the, the price that they paid. Okay.
Ben, you're the, the head boy here. Yes. Um, what does it mean to you and what was your role in this? Whole thing? Yeah, well for me it was just again, you know, to be connected to the past and to, to have some involvement, you know, to, to pay tribute to the, the fallen soldiers and the old, old Campbellians. My role was to initiate the ring, um, the old Campbellian ring, so I phoned Sam Jordan, who was the head prefect last year, uh, and passed on our message of peace, which then he, he passed on to the other 126 Campbellians sure. um, within the ring, so yeah. Is there much knowledge within the school of the actual initiative itself, or is it? Yeah, I think there was, there was sort of good pub publicity for it and we had all of our prefects there to witness the phone call on Monday morning, you know, about 50 of them. And also Mr. Q gave an assembly where he talked about what we would be doing. And it happened last year as well. So I think, you know, within the school, most people are aware of the initiative and, you know, are, are happy to get involved with it. I think it's a, a great idea. If I just come in at that point, if you don't mind as well, the, one of the actual message that was passed on in the Campbell Ring was actually a message that came from the school itself. The history department had a competition with uh, asking the boys to come up with possible messages and it was one of our year 11 students whose message was chosen. So I think the mm -hmm. fact that the message itself originated from one of our boys obviously gave them ownership of it.